Hi Aries, welcome to your reading. So this is going to be a general reading for the month of April 2019. And first and foremost, I want to say happy, happy birthday Aries. Welcome to your season. Um, we just left Pisces season, so I'm sure a lot of you are feeling that energy change, energy shift. So I hope you guys have been celebrating, having a good time so far. Um, if you are new to my channel, I always encourage uh, my watchers to comment their birthdays down in the comment section so definitely comment your birthdays Aries and represent for Aries gang and let us know what you're doing for your birthday this year okay so let's get into it um, this is going to be for Aries Sun Moon and Rising also Venus if you don't know those signs there is a calculator down in my description you can use that to check Just flipping these okay and we'll get into it. So we're going to do a general reading for the collective Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What can you tell me? What can Aries expect in the month of April 2019? Aries, in the month of April 2019, what can you expect for Aries? Okay, so I'm going to actually fast forward my shuffle. This way we can keep the video nice and short, and then we'll go through the cards together. Alright Aries, so this is going to be a general reading, so the energies could apply either um, vice versa between you or someone around you doing this to you. Um, also if you're on Instagram, I am too, please follow me, that info will be down below. And if the messages resonate with you in this reading, then please support the channel, like and subscribe, and this way I'll be able to continuously give you monthly videos, okay? And if you notice a band-aid, yeah cut myself cooking today so <laughs> hopefully it's not too annoying but let's get into it you have a lot of cup energy here some fire okay but I feel as if you're gonna be releasing a lot this year there is some sort of secrecy here having to do with delivering a message um, I'm sensing them there's, there's some sort of confusion about how to either deliver some sort of news or maybe someone is delivering news to you okay now the root of all this energy is the page of cups so this could be a water sign person Pisces Cancer Scorpio this is someone who is messaging you reaching out to you um, I feel as if someone around you could possibly be like sweet talking you but they're not about a lot of action and I feel as if you or in this energy, well, you are in this energy. This is your overall energy for the month. You have the Knight of Swords. So you are ready to go, go, go. I feel like for some Aries, you guys have felt very stagnant for a while. And it's almost like that horse in the gate just waiting for the bell so they can just run out. And this is your season. So now you're finally in this, you know, energy where you're ready to propel. You're ready to move forward. You're ready to excel. And, you know move quickly you want things to happen quickly because you've been in some sort of stagnant phase you've definitely been planning for a while here with the three of pentacles so on your mind is either planning or trying to fix something trying to work something out okay so as i was saying you're thinking about how to either fix something or work with someone i feel like a lot of you are either dealing with a younger person this could be a child this could be um anybody that this, mes this uh, message resonates with, but I feel like there's this energy of wanting to heal something with someone. It could be like an offer and an apology. Um, but I feel as if it's not going to work out and your outcome here is the Ten of Wands, so you may just be dropping this. Um, I feel like after a period of some sort of confusion here with the Seven of Cups, you're going to end up dropping the situation. Because here in your immediate environment, you have the star card in reverse. So that talks about a situation with someone that you haven't been able to heal. You haven't been able to work it out. Okay, here what's crossing you is the nine of wands. So this could be someone that you've battled with before. This could be someone that either you're putting your guard up heavily or they're putting their guard up against you. But I feel as if you're ready to move on if this can't be resolved. So there's definitely a person here. This is the root of all the energy, the Page of Cups. So there is a person here that I feel like 
there's this energy of either they want to work with you or you want to work with them. It's almost like someone trying to come back and speak or offer up some sort of apology. But I feel like you're going to end up dropping this person, Aries, because your outcome is the Ten of Wands. So this talks about dropping the situation. Now, in your environment, you have the star card in reverse. So this talks about not a lot of hope in a situation, which is why I feel like you drop it. So whatever it is that you've been confused about for a while, you're going to drop it this month. Because I feel like you don't want any burdens here. You're kind of in this energy where you're ready to move forward. You don't want anything to hold you back. So whatever is in your way, whatever is causing doubts or confusions, you're going to end up releasing this month, which is good. Um, anything that you have the major arcana star here. So this tells me that this is a situation that probably doesn't have a big chance of resolving or working out. And that's why I strongly feel like you are going to end it. You are going to let it go. You're going to release it. You've been working very hard or maybe trying to resolve a situation, but it's just a lot of confusion, especially emotional confusion. You have a lot of water energy here, so you are dealing with someone that you have some sort of emotional connection with, but this person is just either not being very straightforward with you or not cooperating with you the way you would want them to. So this could be, you know, anyone. This could be someone that you're in a relationship with, this could be a child, this could be a family member, a friend, just someone who's not working with you and you're kind of dropping the situation here. The overall theme for the month is the Ace of Wands in reverse. So there's not going to be a new start here. There's going to be an ending in this month. Because again, like I'm saying, your energy here, you are moving forward. You're not letting anything stop you, anything get in your way. So anything that's holding you back, anything that makes you feel like you're being weighed down, you're just going to release it. You're going to cut through it or cut it out of your life. So you guys are going through some sort of purging mode where whatever burdens need to be dropped, whatever weight needs to be released, you will be releasing it this month. Your subconscious is the high priestess, so you're very in tune with yourself. You're very in tune with your gut. And I feel like you feel at peace with it. You feel at peace with it because you, you've really worked hard at a situation and you realize that no matter how much effort you've given to it, it's not going to work out. And you've taken the time to really analyze it, to look through it, to realize that you've tried it all and there's really nothing else you can do. You've done everything you can and still the situation hasn't improved. Okay, so you guys are releasing releasing this month Aries at the bottom of your deck you have the three of wands so you're in search of something bigger better moving forward this talks about travel there's a lot here that you feel you need to explore you feel like you want to get out you feel like you've been trapped for too long you've been working at something for too long and it's 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 been hopeless it's been a situation where you feel like you're never going to be able to get it off the ground. So you rather just see what else is out there, exploring your options. So this could also be a job too. But I feel very heavily, you know, there's a lot of fire energy here. There's a lot of cups. You could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces specifically. Or this could just talk about coming out of Pisces season and releasing especially all of those emotional, all that emotional weight you've been carrying. You will be releasing this month. I feel like you're, you're taking on air energy here because this is your overall energy. You're taking on air energy and you're not letting emotions hold you back. You're not letting anything hold you back. You want to feel light. You want to feel free. You want to feel able to move forward and pursue whatever it is that you're pursuing. Because I feel like what you've been working on for a while, it just hasn't, it hasn't manifested for you. And you're ready to let that go. You're ready to move forward. You're ready to try a different direction or something new during this time. And you're feeling very empowered because you are in your season. So very good energy, Aries. Very good energy.
Okay, Aries, so now what we're going to do is we're going to move into the extended portion of the reading. And because it is your season, you guys get the complimentary version of the extended. Every other sign, I will be uploading extended versions to Vimeo. And um, if you do want to do some cross-watching, definitely check out my Vimeo channel. You can purchase or rent any of the extended readings there. And there is a promo code. Um, it will be limited to about the first maybe 20 or so people, but... There is going to be a promo code down in the description that you can use. So let's go ahead and clarify. I'm going to use my mini Rider Waite deck. And we're going to clarify some of these energies to get a better understanding of what's going on. So the root of all of this is the Page of Cups. So please clarify the Page of Cups for me. Wow, again. There's so many repeating cards here, the Ace of Wands twice. This is someone that either is in your life, but you haven't been able to have a start with or a new beginning with, okay? You have the Nine of Wands here, twice again. So now you have a lot of repeating cards. This is someone who may be offering some sort of false start, okay? But I feel like you're going to see that coming from a mile away, okay? You're already guarded about this person or this offer. If it is an offer, I feel like you're going to let it go. This could be an apology. This could be an offer to reconcile. This could be anything. It's something to do with either emotions or something of, of like sincerity, but I feel as if you see right through it. It's all talk is what I'm getting. It's all talk and not a lot of action. And you see that, or you will see that eventually, okay? Because strongly a lot of you are letting go of this person or choosing to release something. Now I want to see what this Ace of Wands is, even though we know it's a false start or not a new beginning with someone. Please clarify the Ace of Wands here. This is your overall theme. You have the Hierophant in reverse. So this is someone who's not doing things by the rules, by tradition. This is something that's out of the norm. So what they're offering is not something stable or what's being offered. I feel as if you sense it's not stable. The Queen of Pentacles could be from an Earth sign as well. I feel like if you're wanting something of substance and you feel like you're not getting it. So a lot of you, it is on your job. You're at a job that you're not happy with. You feel like you put in a lot of work. Maybe you've been wanting some sort of promotion or an offer, but it's not coming. It's not happening. And you're going to... You're going to get pretty fed up at this point, Aries, and you're going to, some of you may be lashing out, but I feel like you guys are going to just take action and move forward and not stay idle anymore in a situation that you're not happy in. Let's clarify the Seven of Cups. Let's clarify the Seven of Cups because that's representing the near future, so how the situation progresses. You have the Eight of Pentacles. So this could definitely be a work situation trying to work through a lot of your emotions as well I feel like Aries you'll be doing that a lot of meditation you're going to go into some sort of energy where you're going to work through all the emotions that you've been feeling especially during Pisces season you're going to work through that and you're going to realize a lot of things a lot of things are going to become clearer to you and once you get that information you're going to move forward on it. There is a lot of clarity that's coming to you. I would definitely pay attention to your dreams. You may be getting messages there. If you're meditating, you're definitely getting messages there. Your intuition is on point. This card is representing your intuition. And your intuition is the high priestess, the most intuitive card in the deck. So your intuition is on 10,000 right now. So you should definitely, I see you doing it though. I remember your last video was talking about emerging from the cocoon. Some of you are still in the cocoon. And you're in there because you're sorting things out. But once you're out of it, look at you. Like a bat out of hell. Once you're out, you're out. Guns blazing. All right? It's going to feel almost like an energy of liberation, freedom, like the full card. But again, with that Aries twist to it, right? You see how fierce he is. It's the freedom card, but also you know, God of War card, like, you know, I'm ready to kick butts, take names, ready to slice anyone who gets in my way, you know, you guys are going to be a badass this month. Oh, wow, I didn't even realize, look at your card <laughs> at the bottom of the deck. Okay, Aries, 
You guys are going to be in full Aries mode. You guys are going to be a badass this month. It's going to feel great. It really is. But after, it's going to happen after a moment, a period of facing your emotions, meditating, taking that time to go within. And once you've sorted that out, you're unstoppable, really. Overall energy, Knight of Swords. Please clarify the Knight of Swords here for Aries. Two of Cups. So again, you guys are definitely dropping or leaving a situation. You could be, again, leaving a Pi uh, you know, a Pisces, a water sign, just someone. Or you're leaving like a situation, like a job. Anything that has to do with other people involved. A connection, a person behind. You're breaking from some sort of union and moving forward, Aries. Yeah, you see with the Six of Swords. So you guys are moving on. I feel as if, you know, either you or the person you've dealt with, I feel, I feel strongly it's you, though, Aries. You guys are moving forward and moving on because you've come to some sort of realization that whatever you've been involved in before is, hasn't been working for you, and it's not leading you down the path you want to be either. So you're done. In your environment, you have the star card in reverse. This is your only major arcana here. Well, no, you have the High Priestess, which is also a major arcana, but this one stands out to me because this is your physical environment. Please clarify the Star card in reverse. The Seven of Pentacles. So this, again, talks about some sort of reciprocity, not getting back what you've put in. So that can apply, again, to relationships, jobs, whatever, but I feel like you've been putting in a lot of work and not getting getting the results that you want. And you're going to drop it, therefore. You're not getting what you want in your environment. Wow. Ten of Wands twice. It's become too much of a burden for you, so you drop it. Outcome, Ten of Wands in reverse. You drop it. Wow, look at all these cards. <laughs> Repeating cards. I love when it does that. It just affirms the message. It confirms the message that I'm trying to give. You go from the 9 to the 10. You're tired of holding those wands. You're tired of feeling burdened. You're tired of feeling dissatisfied, unhappy. You feel like you've been doing it for too long. That's what I get, Aries. You've been doing this for too long, and you're done. You're letting it down. You're letting it all down. You're done feeling trapped. This is also, remember that card came out of your last reading? Feeling like you were in the cocoon. You're coming out, emerging. Page of Wands, there goes your energy. Brand new energy. You're starting new. You've dropped those ten wands in pursuit of something new. Remember, this was the wand that you weren't getting before. Now you're focusing more on that wand. Focusing on the direction that you actually want to go. I feel like your life has been going in a direction that you weren't happy with. And now you're going to drop whatever's been holding you back and getting in your way to pursue that actual direction that you want, which is great. Let's use the Gypsy Oracle deck because I want to get some additional messages for you, Aries. And then I will pull a card of, of advice. What are some additional messages for Aries in the month of April? Ooh, I have the gift. Very nice, okay. I feel like you will be rewarded once you make this purge. You have the priest here with the high priestess. Again, universe is telling you, follow your gut. There will be rewards here. If you follow your intuition, you will be rewarded. If you do that work, that deep meditation, you will be rewarded. Cheerfulness. There will be celebration here. There's happier times for you up ahead. For sure, Aries. So let's pull a card of advice for you. What's some advice for Aries here in the month of April? 2019, what is some advice for Aries this month? You have the Seven of Wands. So again, telling you to stand your ground. 
stand your ground in a situation where you felt attacked, where you felt taken advantage of, where you felt was hopeless. Stand your ground against a person who has been wasting your time or being dishonest with you. Stand your ground this month and release whatever it is that's been wearing you down. You have all the power here, Aries, and you are in your season. You are empowered by your season. All right, Aries? So that is going to be your reading. I hope that was able to give you some clarity this month. If you would like to book a private reading with me, that link will be down in my description. Um, just purchase the reading that best fits you know, your needs and your budget, and um, I'll get back to you via email within 24 to 48 hours. So take care, Aries. Have a great birthday, and I'll see you in the next video.